magnesium and chlorophyll. In this video, we look at how chlorophyll and sunlight produce food for plants to survive. We examine the chemical structure of chlorophyll and how it compares to our blood, hemoglobin. In his chlorophyll book, Bernard Jensen relates how one of his clients was cured of anemia using chlorophyll. Finally, you are given a chlorophyll remedy that can help you build up your red and white blood cells. Let's get started. Magnesium is a significant mineral like sodium, calcium, and potassium. It is central to the food chain in that it holds a position in chlorophyll, the blood of plants. For this reason, foods that are dark green contain a lot of chlorophyll and a lot of magnesium. In a plant, chlorophyll in the presence of carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O, allows the plant to convert light into energy in a process called photosynthesis. The actual chemical reaction is carbon dioxide, plus water, sunlight, chlorophyll, sugar, plus oxygen. Chlorophyll is similar to your blood hemoglobin molecule, except that at the center of the hemoglobin molecule is the mineral iron. It is chlorophyll that facilitates the photosynthesis process in plants, giving the plants the energy from the sun to produce its food, glucose, and oxygen. In this image, you can see the similarities between plant chlorophyll and blood hemoglobin. From his article called, Chlorophyll, School of Chemistry, University of Bristol, discusses two chlorophyll molecules in plants that work together to collect the most energy from the sun. By Paul May. These two kinds of chlorophyll complement each other in absorbing sunlight. Plants can obtain all their energy requirements from the blue and red parts of the light spectrum. However, there is still a large light spectral region between 500 to 600 nanometers where very little light is absorbed. This light is in the green region of the spectrum, and since it is reflected, this is the reason plants appear green. Chlorophyll absorbs so strongly that it can mask other less intense colors. When you eat greens or drink liquid chlorophyll, you will build more blood hemoglobin. Eating or drinking chlorophyll will help you promote better blood circulation, increase the number of red blood cells, cleanse your body, and increase your oxygen levels. It will also help you build more white blood cells that will fight infection and disease. So, if you want to build your blood hemoglobin, then drinking chlorophyll and eating greens is a way to do it. The main function of your blood hemoglobin is to transport oxygen from your lungs to your cells. When your body is low in hemoglobin, drinking chlorophyll may help increase the hemoglobin in your blood. In his book, called, The Healing Power of Chlorophyll from Plant Life, 1973, Bernard Jensen, nutritionist, recalls when Mr. Pete Maloff, a leader of the Daucober colony in Canada, brought his daughter in for his consultation. She was diagnosed by the Mayo Clinic with pernicious anemia. Because she was a vegetarian, she refused to be injected with liver and iron and beef products to build up her blood. Here is what Bernard Jensen did. I started giving her an excessive amount of liquid chlorophyll over a period of three months, a teaspoon of the concentration eight times a day. We put one million red blood cells in this little lady's blood count in just one month. She went from 2,800,000 to 3,800,000 by just using liquid chlorophyll. When she left, her blood count was 4,500,000, which was almost up to normal. It was Jensen's belief that there are many times that iron and blood shots do not overcome the anemic condition as fast as liquid chlorophyll. Nothing I can tell you will build blood as fast. It is one of the best blood builders we have. This is one remedy that you can use if you have anemia or iron deficiency anemia. Here's how to do it. Buy some liquid chlorophyll then put one tablespoon or less into eight ounces of water. Then squeeze one lemon juice into the chlorophyll drink. Stir for 15 to 30 seconds. Then drink up. The taste is not going to be sweet. Just consider it medicine for your blood. Do not add sugar or honey. They don't mix well with chlorophyll. At their website, Semantic Scholar, a study was done in 2014 on the value of wheatgrass juice. Wheatgrass juice is rich source of minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, amino acids and many enzymes. 
It is significant nutritious, and medicinal value with rich source of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll resembles with hemoglobin as both are chromoprotein. Chemical component of both compounds are nearly same. Also the vital component of wheatgrass helps in building hemoglobin in our body. Foods rich in chlorophyll. Most naturally green vegetables contain chlorophyll. Foods that are particularly rich in chlorophyll include spinach, collard greens, mustard greens, chlorella, spirulina, alfalfa, wheatgrass, parsley, broccoli, green cabbage, asparagus, green beans and peas, green tea. Summary. As you can see liquid chlorophyll is an important nutrient that can help you build your blood and give you a healthier life. And, Bernard Jensen puts it quite simply. The benefits of chlorophyll will be slim for those who continue to live on coffee, and donuts, or many of the ghost foods that line our shelves today. If you are living on a diet which is breaking you down, don't expect liquid chlorophyll to build you up, 